most significant problems for artists is getting noticed. In a world with so many new things coming out every single year, it's no longer enough to just be better than the rest of the crowd. You need to know how to get your work out there and seen by a vast amount of people. In Austin Kleon's book, Show Your Work, he explains exactly how to get your work seen and finally get the recognition you deserve. All while learning new things and connecting with a community that will travel with you throughout your entire life. What is up, YouTube? My name is Aiden Helfong. I'm a freshman Cornell University student who helps people reawaken their love for learning by giving video book summaries and actionable tips on kickstarting their learning journey. One of the most significant problems for artists is getting noticed. In a world with so many new things coming out every single year, it's no longer enough to just be better than the rest of the crowd. You need to know how to get your work out there. What is showing your work? Austin explains that showing your work essentially means documenting your learning process in the most exciting way possible. Too often in the artist world, people only see the finished product. When a boss looks at someone's resume, they only see the skills they have acquired over their lifetime. It's very easy for people to forget all of the time and effort spent in learning and working to gain those skills in the first place. To stop this problem, Austin explains that we simply have to show our work. We all need some way to document our learning process, not only to help others, but also to show future employees and friends. How you do this is up to you and what you find interesting. This could be through making YouTube videos on a YouTube channel or developing blog posts on your website. It could even be through making online e-courses or hosting teaching seminars. All of these things are methods of showing your work to the outside world. So now that we know what showing your work means, Let's talk about why Austin believes you should show your work, why you need to show your work. Artists love to trot out the tired line, my work speaks for itself. Austin makes the point, however, that this is no longer the case. There's simply too many people making too many things in this day and age. If you wanna come out on top, it's no longer good enough to just produce good work. You need to know how to show it as well. Austin explains that human beings want to know where things come from how they are made, and who made them. The good news is that showing your work brings with it a plethora of benefits. Imagine if your next boss knew you not only from reading your resume, but also from reading your blog. Imagine being a student and getting your first gig somewhere because of a project you posted online. Imagine losing your job, but having an entire social network to help you find a new one. Finally, imagine spending the majority of your time learning a trade, running a business, and at the same time allowing for the possibility that your work might attract a group of people who share your interests. It all starts with showing your work. How to get started showing your work. To get started on showing your work, Austin makes a distinction between the amateur and the expert. Many people believe that to show your work, you have to be an expert. Austin points out, however, that amateurs are more willing to try anything and share the results because they have so little to lose. Zen monk Shun Ru once said, in the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are few. When starting, you should wear your amateurism on your sleeve. Think about what you want to learn by finding a senius or group of learners also interested in that topic. Pay attention to what others are sharing and then start finding what they're not sharing. Then just start learning about that topic and showing your work. Creativity is in a sense, a mind connected to other minds. It's a beautiful collaboration between a group of people in a shared space, a place where new and novel ideas can bounce off each other, and everyone is made all the better because of it. Once again, don't worry about the quality of what you're sharing, but wear your amateurism on your heart. How the book changed my perspective. Show your work completely changed my life. 
and I believe it can do the same to you. Before reading it, I was relatively bored by learning. I saw everything as a way to boost my resume and didn't learn anything just for its fun. Once I started my YouTube channel back in March, however, I realized the power of sharing my work. I attracted a group of other people just as interested in learning as I was. As my channel grew and I continued to show my work, my love for learning began to unbound itself like never before. I came to realize that the impulse to keep to yourself what you have learned is not only shameful, but destructive. I now try to share everything I learned from podcasts, books, courses, and articles. Collaboration is built into our nature as humans. We are meant to work together and build towards a shared learning goal. By sharing my work through blog posts and YouTube videos, I have learned much more than I ever would have had I kept my knowledge to myself. So start your journey today. If you have gotten into reading from this channel, fantastic! You now have a base point to begin in sharing your work. I full heartedly believe that if you share your work consistently through one means or another for at least two years, it will be the single most life-changing thing that you ever do. Start a YouTube channel, a podcast, make e-courses. It doesn't matter what it is as long as you share your work. Be sure to check out the book in the description for a more in-depth analysis of showing your work. Check out my video on why you hate reading and how to stop it. This could get you on the journey of self-learning so you can start showing your work using the tips in this video. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day Bye-bye.